Who is the biggest winner and loser in the UK's historic election? Jeremy Corbyn, historic defeat, biggest loser without a doubt. Boris Johnson, big winner. Yes, there is a strong case for him. But there is a more popular winner than Johnson, his pet dog, Dylan. The toast of the town in the UK. In fact, dogs in general had a special place in this election. They were used to bring voters to the polling stations. They were used for political messaging. Britain lived up to its tradition of carrying dogs to polling booths. The trend that started with the Brexit referendum three years ago is alive and well. He came, he saw, he conquered. Benny, Biddy, Vichy. This applies to Boris Johnson and Dylan, his year old puppy. Dylan is a rescued Jack Russell Cross. If Dylan is the show stealer in Uxbridge on the outskirts of London, puppies were the rage yesterday in all of the United Kingdom. In fact, dogs have become synonymous with elections since the Brexit referendum in 2016. Since the day of the Brexit vote, Britain has gone to the dogs, literally and figuratively. If there is anything in common between Boris Johnson and London's mayor, Sadiq Khan, it is this, the love for puppies. Britons don't just take the puppies to polling booths, they post them on Twitter too. Some facts. Dogs define the elections number of dogs in polling stations is directly proportional to voter turnout. They encourage voters to the stations. They become tools to send subtle last moment political messages. They become the alter egos of Britons. And since Christmas is here, dogs turned Santas too. Added to their help for homo sapiens like companionship, protection, hunting and herding, there is a reason why Canis lupus familiaris or the domestic dog is ruling the roost in the United Kingdom. British politics is clearly in the realm of the pausable. In fact, hashtag dogs at polling stations gives a good idea into the politics of the United Kingdom than the Conservative or Labour Party handles. Contrary to perception, animal spirits were unleashed at the Temple of Democracy in the United Kingdom. The love for dogs is a global phenomenon. If Donald honours Conan for the help in the al-Baghdadi operation, then Dylan defines the Brexit election in the United Kingdom. But do Britons actually love animals? Dogs, yes. But animals, not so much, not in a generic sense. For example, badgers aren't so privileged. Badger culling continues in the country. For the record, it's the largest destruction of a protected species in memory. Tories, silence. Labour, Hedges. Liberal Democrats, not for a ban to culling. Brexit Party, silence. Only the Green Party and Animal Welfare Party have a stance. Primates as pet, ivory trophy hunting, illegal smuggling of dogs and cats, use of whip in horse racing. Much like their politics, the United Kingdom has a nuanced stance on animals. But come election day, dogs will be flogged. Quite a reflection of the times. Bureau Report, Rion World is One.